talk a little bit today about Parkinson's disease and how our therapists treat it. Parkinson's disease is a progressive disorder of the central nervous system that mostly affects the patient's motor abilities. The disease occurs when nerve cells in the brain don't produce enough of a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Common symptoms of Parkinson's disease includes tremor, rigidity of the arms, legs, and trunk, slowness of movement, decreased amplitude of movement, and poor balance and coordination. From these changes, Parkinson's patients often develop a slow shuffling gait, small hand and arm movements, and sometimes have difficulty speaking. Currently, there is no cure for Parkinson's disease, but physical therapy is able to address many of these symptoms. Here at AquaCare Physical Therapy, we have specially certified therapists that utilize a type of treatment called large amplitude therapy. Due to the decrease in dopamine in Parkinson's disease, the brain begins to perceive normal size movements as too big or too fast. Thus, the body adjusts and the patient's movements become smaller and slower. The large amplitude programs are based on the idea of activity-based neuroplasticity. The program is designed to train individuals with Parkinson's to recalibrate their motor and perceptual systems so that they are less inclined to downscale or reduce the amplitude of their motions. These large amplitude movements are often used in conjunction with other therapy exercises to address any deficits in balance or strength that may also be leading to functional limitations. Here, our certified therapist, Shannon Arney, demonstrates the various movements that make up our Parkinson's therapy. Therapy includes a series of seated, standing, or dynamic movements emphasizing large arm motions, exaggerated trunk rotation, and big steps. In this series of sustained movements, the patient is asked to hold the extended posture for 10 seconds, again, attempting to recalibrate the brain to these larger movements. Through this process, the patient will learn to self-monitor and accept that what feels too big to them is actually normal size movement. Here, Shannon demonstrates the series of multidirectional repeated movements. In these more dynamic movements, the patient's balance, strength, and endurance are all being challenged, while still focusing on large amplitude motions, exaggerated rotation, and intentional steps. If appropriate, patients are given a home exercise program and instructed to complete these motions at home. In order for these exercises to be effective, maximal repetitions are required, typically more than can be achieved in a single therapy session. Evidence shows that following large amplitude training, there is an increase in size of limb and body movement in people with Parkinson's disease. This carries over into everyday activity to improve speed, balance, and overall quality of life. 